So just like that, they roll in and out of Hershey. And if you were both nights, you got to win. You know, there was aspects of last night that were outstanding. There were parts of tonight that were great. So if you could kind of combine the two Hershey shows into one, you got a huge winner. So tonight we get started off with a sexy thing, kind of a throwback to the uh, Baker's Dozen. I know that's not the only time they've played it, but to me, you know, it always, it always gives me memories of the Baker's Dozen when they play that. So then they go into a bit of a jammed out wombat that turns into a sexy wombat there, Trey loving it, even a bit of a mashup there between the two songs by the end of that jam. And then we get going with Free here, starting to kick the jams up a little bit. Free and then the Ocean Sings and then the Haley's and then Haley's was the big one. You know, these two were a bit of a warm up. Yeah, you see, we still got problems. Don't worry, I got reinforcements coming. So then the Haley's jam kind of took me by surprise. Not that, not that Haley's a surprise jam, but didn't really see that one coming after the Ocean Sing had a solid little first set, first set jam there. But then in the Haley's jam, just as it gets going, man, Mike just barrels through. He comes bouncing in, like, you know, kind of like the other night. He doesn't get a lot of shots right now with Paige and Trey just on fire. So he comes bouncing in, kind of stealing the show, step aside, you know, and that kind of that bouncy sound he's got. He was rolling with that a lot throughout the night. So then after this monster, we get into the Trey's Lonely Trip. I guess maybe not every night, but tonight it seemed like especially a bit of a down, uh, dropping us down. And they tried to come back with Gotta Jabu, you know, one of my first set favorites, and it, it still delivers. You know, it's just got that, they get into that groove. It's like, yeah, man, this is fish. You know, Gotta Jabu, probably not the greatest song ever once it, when it comes to a studio album, but man, do they get it done there. And then we get into Meat. Meat probably dangled a bit too long. And then we go into a maze. The maze had a kind of a relaxed start. You get to that turning point though. After Paige had kind of done his thing, the intensity picks up in maze. We in there strong. Then we go right back over here to the second set. Theme from the bottom opening up. And oh, I was getting a little bit antsy. You know, I'm a big theme guy. I was hoping for a big theme. But you know, we just get a pretty good theme here starting out the second set. And then boom, birds of a feather coming strong. You know, Trey was a little bit on repeat on this one. He found something in there in birds of a feather that he liked and kept going with Paige and Mike and everybody just joining in saying, all right, if he likes that, we'll jam to that. So the birds of a feather kept going, you know, I, don't, I didn't get a time stamp on that one, but may have been the lengthiest jam of the night, and then into Bug. Kind of like this over here, Lonely Trip kind of killed us after that killer Haley's. Birds of a feather coming and just laying it down, and then Bug, Bug, ugh. We get two, we get a ballad in each set, and then Light trying, just like got a Jabu tried, Light did, and Light was almost there, almost there, and then they go into party time, you know. Oh man, there was times when Light was delivering that, always. And then, you know, the other night it was all right, tonight just all right, so perhaps light is a bit of a long hauler here. Having trouble post-pandemic, and then into party time, even with a little Manteca in party time. Yeah, you know, you're, you're not going to win me over, Trey. You got me to like Possum, maybe even rock out to a zero, but it's going to be a lot of hard work on party time. And then Ruby Waves, you know, just about, about like always, it's never going to be the Alpine, but it's always going to be pretty solid. And then as a song, you know, when Ghost of the Forest came out, I don't know, man. <sighs> that prison of lies. I wasn't really down, but I'll tell you what, man, I am super down with Ruby Ways at this point. And then, you know, sometimes Chalk Dust is Chomper, sometimes it not. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes it's not. Today it was. The C in Chalk Dust this time stands for Chomper. I know if you follow along on uh, Instagram, some people were a little worried about me. I was in the hospital this morning getting checked for Chomperitis. Don't worry, though. Everything's cool. I said it is. It is contagious, though, of course. So watch it. I don't know how the hell I got it on Couch Tour. They said one of the remedies is you got to listen to Goose for two hours and then you'll know the errors of your way. And I was like, no, dude, I'd rather, Doc, I'd rather die a chomper than do that. So then we get onto the encore right here. Show a life and then show us, uh, show it to me. Say it to me, Santos. Having trouble with the ashes tonight. Say it to me, Santos, and then after show of life. <sighs> I feel like we got on. Uh, what do we get on? Uh, we, we got some more. No, no, no. You know, all right. I, like like I said, you know, there was aspects of last night that were awesome. This was really good. This was really good. This was really good. You know, me. All right. That's a penis. All right, guys. Boom. We're out of here. We, we got we got another. Well, you, you believe this wing of the tour is almost wrapping up? All right, guys. So boom. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you soon. We'll take one last look at it. We got extra time. How's the hair look? Oh, hair looks outstanding. I can't. It's fucking bullshit, man. This Sharpie's done. Right in the trash, even though there's not a trash can over there. We got, like I said, we got reinforcements coming tomorrow. Should be here by 10 p.m. Don't really need it tomorrow, though.